Aloha Freeman Tigers. Welcome to my first seesaw video for our distance learning. Today we're going to do found objects drawings. So this, this is fun because you have hopefully everything in your home that you need. These are objects anywhere in your house. Objects that with permission you can pull out and have in front of you and draw. The materials are your objects, a piece of paper, and that can be any kind of paper. It doesn't have to just be white paper. It can be lined paper. It can be whatever you have available. And then you are going to uh, have something to color it with. So it might just be a pencil, okay? Uh, it might be crayons. It might be markers. It might be colored pencils. Whatever you have at home, use it, okay? So today, my found object is a mango. Okay, so I have my mango in front of me and actually it smells pretty good. It needs to be cut soon. It's now ripe. And I have my paper, I have my pencil and my crayons all ready to go. So I'm going to move my camera so that you can see what my hands are doing. Okay. So remember, Freeman Tigers, we always put our name on the back, first name, last name, and whatever your class is, 1A, KC, whatever it is, just to keep in practice. I'm going to look at my object. Now, the side that you see it from is over here, okay? You're seeing it from the back side. I can only draw it from the side I can see it. I'm going to observe it carefully. I'm looking at the shapes of my object. I'm looking at the overall outline of my object. I'm also looking at the colors because I do have something to add color with. So I carefully, while observing my object, I draw, and I'm drawing pretty lightly, guys. I come back over here and get this curve. Okay, I have my stem, which is close to my edge. I don't know if you can hear, I have some birds chirping outside. They are really active in the mornings. And since my stem covers up part of my mango, I'm gonna actually erase that little part. Now I know, I know you can't see it very well, so I'm gonna hold it up, see? Okay, there's my shape. And notice I used most of my paper. I wanted to make it nice and big. But I do have kind of a smaller sheet of paper. Now I'm ready to add color. So I choose the colors. I notice that on my mango, I have green, but I don't have just one green. I have some lighter green and darker green. I have red. I have a little bit of almost an orange and yellow in there as well. Plus my stem has some brown. Um, and a little bit of green on there, and a little bit of yellow. So I have a lot of colors I can choose from. So I'm gonna start with my greens. I'm actually gonna pull out all my different greens that I have here. I have three different greens, which is great because I have a regular green, I have a yellow green, and then I have, it's called green yellow, but for intermediate colors, that's not the way you're supposed to label it. So we're just going to say yellow, yellow green. So it's got a bit more yellow in it than my other green. So I'm going to start with my yellow green, this color, and I'm going to give myself some spaces and just start adding some color. And I'm going to start lightly first. I'm gonna start lightly first because I can always get darker. And since I have more than one color green, I can certainly add some more colors to it. And I'm really observing because my green almost comes all the way out to here before it really starts getting orange and stuff and red. I want to use good coloring skills, and I'm trying to do this quickly because I only have so much time on the video for Seesaw. But 
but you can take your time since you don't have to do this for a video. And I know that it's really bright and you're not really seeing a whole lot. I'm gonna go to a little bit of my darker green. So maybe you can see a little bit more. So I'm actually layering my darker green on top of my lighter green. Because in certain spots, it definitely has some darkness to it. Okay. And just to let you know, I'm not, I'm not even going to finish this in the time that we have. But I'm going to kind of touch on the red part. Red, violet, red. Is this red? Ah, oh, here's some red. And because my object is rounded, I'm actually trying to go around and follow the curve of my object. So that's why doing small strokes help me because I can keep that roundness to it. And I'm always going back and looking at my object. It's really red in some areas then other areas are not as red, so I'm varying my uh, pressure using my crayons. So I would keep on coloring. Now this is pretty sophisticated stuff. If you notice you've got two colors on an object or one color, that's okay too, and then add a few other details. So I want to show you why it's so important. Most of us know bananas are yellow. Here's a yellow banana, but notice that it has some dark spots, just where it touches other objects and it sits, okay? Some bananas are green with some yellow on it as well. This is normally an unripe banana that takes a little bit of time. And then, a lot of people don't like these, but you've also got the bananas that have been sitting there for a little while and they're just getting more and more ripe. These are still good to eat, but they're just a bit more ripe and they have a lot more dark spots. So depending on the object that I have, and I used fruit, you don't have to use fruit, you can use anything. Here's my son's Minecraft bottle, water bottle. I could use that to draw, I can use anything, and you can make several of these drawings. You, it's, you're not limited to just one. Just have some fun, and so this is just the beginning. I'm not even done. See where you can see the different colors? Now this is what I did for the older kiddos, fourth and fifth and second and third, okay? And notice I added a background, so my object is sitting on a table and then I added some color above the table, okay? Um, and I added some value shading, so it made it look like when where the light hits my object and it casts a shadow on my table. So these are things if you're ready to uh, do the next hard thing and to uh, step up to what the second, third, fourth, and fifth graders are learning. This is your next level. But it is perfectly okay to make a simple drawing, do one color, and then add other colors. Because like I said, this is yellow. But then as I'm making it, I notice there's some green here and some brown here. So as I'm drawing it, I can add those other colors later on as I notice them. Okay. So I would love to see your artwork. You are uh, encouraged, highly encouraged, to take these pictures and post them on Seesaw so I can give you some feedback just like I do in class. I'd love to see what you produce. And remember, you don't have to do just one. You can do multiple ones and keep your skills up. Um, and any skill level is acceptable. You guys know that. I take you where you're at. So I showed you kind of a higher level of skills but you are capable of it I know that you are so just have a lot of fun and I miss you and I hope I get to see you soon Aloha